G'day guys, it's Billy here from the Chubby Fishing Company. You can catch me on Instagram at Billy underscore Troy underscore fishing. You can also catch me on Facebook at Billy underscore Troy underscore fishing. So today what we're going to talk about is reels in the market. So do you pay for an expensive reel? Do you buy a cheap reel? Or do you get one off a site like eBay, Gumtree or various Facebook groups that are selling them really cheap? So hopefully we can delve into a couple of different things and talk about what's the best option to go with. So the first thing to consider when looking at fishing reels is to think about it as a market. So I've mentioned in videos before that a lot of these brands, they need to sell. So when they talk about fishing reels, they're going to sell you the, the extra ball bearing. They're going to sell you the waterproof feature. They're going to sell you um, the X ship, all these different features that may not make sense to you and also might not come into play if you're only fishing quite um, rarely. So I guess to consider that is the first thing when buying your fishing reel because I see a lot of people get confused by what the technology is and how it may be able to assist them in the first place. So first identifying that the people that are building the reels are trying to sell you them. So first thing first, they might not be able to help you in certain ways or they may be able to help you if you're looking for a feature in particular. But I guess the first thing is making sure you're educated uh, know the market price for the reel that you're looking for and knowing exactly what you need and what you need it for. So that's the key to start point. So let's talk about fishing reel technology. The technology these days is crazy. So you have things such as fishing reels that wind in the line for you. You have overhead, you have spin, you've got bait caster. That's come a long way since fishing with a hand line. And also as we get more complex with our technology, people can get better technology for a little price. So let's go back, let's say maybe 10, 20 years ago, fishing reels that were spinning reels in particular were quite basic. I guess similar for the bait casting reels. Whereas now you can get such a good reel for around $100. So, if you look at what we've done now with our fishing reels compared to that 10, 20 years ago, you have things such as more ball bearings for a cheaper price. You've got higher warranties, such as brands like Shimano giving you a 10 year warranty. I'm sure there's more, I guess, um, fine print when talking about that. But in saying that, you get so much more value. So that's one thing to consider when paying for a fishing reel. You may not need to spend $500 that you may have spent all these years ago now you may be able to get a cheaper reel for a cheaper price that's going to do the thing that you need to do. So that's a big thing to consider when looking at the market. So a good quote that I've heard before in the past is, don't buy a Ferrari if you're never going to take it out of the garage. So I've seen it multiple times before. I've seen it with close friends, close family that buy themselves a $500, $600 outfit and they don't use it past six months. Or they buy themselves a $600 outfit put it in the shed and never see it again, it gathers dust and unfortunately a really good product is going to waste. This is, can be seen in many different industries, whether that's clothing, like I mentioned, cars, watches, all these different categories where people are paying extra, extra money for things they necessarily won't use or they don't need it to that extent. So a lot of fishers I know, they fish maybe once a month. If you're a professional fisherman or if fishing's your biggest hobby, yeah, you might want to pay an extra bit of money to get a reel that's going to do the job for you. But if you're getting a fishing reel that you might use once a month, once every two weeks, the chances are that you won't need to use it that often and you won't need to buy yourself something super expensive. And I guess the other thing to consider as well is the reel maintenance. If you are using a reel frequently, you're going to need to do more maintenance on it whether that's washing it, cleaning it, servicing it. If you're buying a reel and you're using it obviously once a month, you won't need to do that so often. And you can probably get away with buying a cheaper reel because you aren't putting as many kilometers or as many turns on that reel as well. So that's another big thing to consider. Don't buy yourself a reel if you don't plan on using it really frequently. Or what you should do is trial using an older reel and see how you go. So let's talk about the pros and cons of using a cheaper reel. 
So I've got this reel here that cost me around $100 and that is a Shimano Sedona. So with that reel there, I can get away fishing uh, light brim, flathead, whiting, and I don't have any issues with that. I guess the consideration when it comes into that reel, just because of the technology being so high, it's still got multiple ball bearings, it's got a really smooth drag, and it seems like the newer models now are starting to get waterproofed in that same series. So that's an awesome thing to consider. With that reel, I probably don't need to do much better for what I'm doing currently. I'm fishing probably two to three times a week. If that, I might fish as little as once a fortnight if I'm really busy with my other work duties. So I could probably get away quite easily with that. The cons of that is if you're fishing really frequently, it's likely that those ball bearings are going to work harder over time. If you've got three or four ball bearings versus 10, I guess with that oscillation, the ball bearings are going to need to do more work if you have fewer. Also, the fact that that model now I've got isn't waterproof. If I'm using it a lot in the salt water, it may eventually start to deteriorate. So that's a key thing to consider. If I was using it every day, if I'm owning a fishing charter, I want the probably best quality for one dollar. But with that, that's a pretty good price. I think, like I said, a hundred dollars for something like that is a really good buy for anyone from a beginner to um, intermediate. To sometimes, if you want to save a dollar to being a um, a really good fisherman or a really frequent fisher, you could probably save yourself quite a bit of money buying that. And again, you're not going to feel guilty if you have a couple of weeks off or even a couple of months off fishing because you haven't invested that money. So let's talk about the pros and cons of paying for a reel of moderate value. So right here, I've got a Stratic FJ. So the pros of that is my confidence. <laughs> I feel super confident when I'm using it. The drag feels really smooth, it feels really strong in its structure, and it feels heavy in the hand, which can obviously be a detriment for some people, but for me, I really like that feeling of a stiff reel and know that it's not going to give up on me. So confidence is a big thing. Um, I guess the features with that are slightly better than uh, the Sedona, which I showed you before. So it's got more ball bearings, um, the drag structure is a bit more complex, and I think the well, I don't, I know definitely the drag's a lot stronger as well. So it's going to give me a bit more um, bang for my buck when getting the bigger species in. The cons of that is it's probably another $100 to $150 more expensive. So I guess for you, it really de put, uh, depends on what price you put at your fishing. Are you someone that fishes once every month? Are you one that fishes once every week or once every second day? It really depends on where you're going to put your money into. I'd have no issues in buying a Sedona again and scrapping the Stratic next time. But I know in my thoughts, when I go deep sea fishing, when I go rock fishing, I wanna have that Stratic on my hands. I guess the overarching statement for me would be is know how often you're going to fish, uh, know the value of what the reel is, and know where to buy it as well. Because the other thing is, you can get a number of really good reels at a really good price at these things I mentioned before, such as Facebook groups, buy, swap, sell, Gumtree, eBay. And with the way the market is moving now more towards an online um, setup is a lot of the retailers that are retailing in stores are moving towards that online sales and it's just a lot more convenient for you and you're going to find things a lot cheaper online. So obviously I believe in supporting your locals if they're really helping you out. But I guess the other thing is these big stores employ quite a lot of people as well. So I know working for a big chain store, they put me really well into my um, university studies. So I, I do appreciate that people support their local businesses that have been there for a long time. But also the fact is if you're not providing a service or value to your customer above what the bigger companies will be, then I guess there's going to be that toss between the two. So I guess have fun trying to pick the reel that's up for you. Uh, with my channel, please give me a follow, like, and subscribe. Like I said, you can follow me on Billy underscore Troy underscore Fishing, and that's both on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll talk to you next time. Have a great weekend, have a great day, and happy buying. Cheers.